Hello and welcome, this is Tyson. I'm getting ready to put together the second part of the video at Fogarty Creek State Recreation Area where I was and uh, I'm going to show you a couple things. Um, luckily this time I was able to get hold of Roger and he looked at uh, the video of the first the video I just put up and those round things on the on the beach, those three round balls are uh, tendon balls. He's confirmed that those are tendon balls and I'm going to show you a clip of those, plus I'm going to show you a clip of the video I'm putting together of another tendon ball, a bigger one, or maybe it's the same size, but it's more out of the ground, or out of the flat, or out of the, the sand than the other one. And I'll show you it, it's going to be coming up in the video. It, uh, so we know they're absolutely tendon balls, so uh, that's a good thing. Uh, I'm back at Fogarty Creek uh, State Park here again, back on the beach. This time I'm in the upper part. Um, I'll show you right here. Uh, the last video we are right here I'm gonna turn this um, real quick <clears throat> so uh, that's a good thing I was able to get hold of him luckily and he was able to look at it and tell me what they were so now we know what those discs are don't have to guess I said that the in the next video I said it's a tendon emphasis I thought it was but they are uh, tendon balls so I was right over here in the last video and right along in here and those those three balls were right I believe right in here uh, the tide's higher right now. Uh, this time we're going to be going across this head wall here. Whoopsie. And we're going to be right over here. We came over into here this time. In fact, there's going to be a dead seal right here. Uh, laying right here. I'll be in the video. And uh, anyway, that other tendon ball, uh, the bigger one that you see out, is like right in this area right, right along in here. Uh, the tide's at a, a minus tide, and we're able to get clear all along in this head wall and look at all this stuff. And it's really cool. You're going to, this is really good stuff. Um. Uh, well, of course, it's always good stuff to me when you're finding out the truth. So God's really put his creation in front of us now, and uh, now we have to deal with it. So only okay, I'm going to show you a couple fast clips here, and I'm going to uh, upload this video tonight. All right, thanks for joining me. Okay, here's those tendon balls from my last video. Well, there's one there that he's standing on, the other one here, and the third one down there. Um, we'll see if I go a little further here. Yeah, you can see there's a third one. Those are tendon balls. I stand on one of them and say it's an, it looks like an eye, but it's not, and they're tendon balls. So that's in the last video. Now I'm going to show you what's in the, the video coming up. Okay, this is a clip from the video I'm putting together right now. I wanted to show you this. This is another tendon ball that you're going to see in the video uh, that you're watching right now. Um, so when you do see this, that's what it is, a tendon ball. We're going to walk over to it, but we've got another one of those things sticking up. Right there. That's a tendon ball. Boy, this is so cool. Look at that, how it's molded into there. So that's what looks like that's what the other ones were, but they were they were just partially sticking out of the sand, or that's actually flesh, but they were just partially sticking out of, of the sand. And so this one's more exposed, but Roger said that's tendon balls is what they are, so. Okay, I'm going to put this video together and upload it tonight so you everybody will have it tomorrow and uh, spectacular stuff, so. Mud Fossil University, mudfossil.com. Okay, this is really cool over here. That's, I believe, kaolin clay that's collapsed down on top of this stuff. And yes, I understand that the ocean's going to rub some of that. You're going to get erosion. I can't get up on top of it. This is a lot bigger pattern. We still have that hexagonal pattern in places. You can see it here. Well, not really right there you can't. Here you can. And that, that pattern gets bigger over here. This is a lot bigger hexagonal pattern. Look how big these are over here. And this is uh, that same kale and clay, that gray skin that's collapsed down. It's collapsed down on top of this. Look at the red transition metals. Oh, this is so good up in there. I'm trying not to fall down here. Oh. It's a big bowl right here.
take a long time. Okay, we're over here looking at some more of this. Look how red that is in there. We're gonna walk over to it, but we've got another one of those things sticking out of the cliff here. cracks in that. Look at that, that's perfect. That is a perfect, whatever you call that pattern. Yeah, perfect pattern. Ge geometry. Perfect geometry. Coming out of One this. One diamond, two, three, four. It's all the way around. It's an alien egg. Now we don't know what it is, but it's a body part, biological. It could be a, uh, I'm thinking maybe a tendon entesis or a something like that. I don't know. I'll try to get Roger to look at it. He's really busy right now, so I don't know. All right, so we're coming along here. Boy, this is really cool. Look at that in there. right on down into the ground. <laughs> Watch your geological uplift. You guys don't know what you're doing. Look at that red up there. Holy cow. Look at how red that is. Okay, this is really cool. We noticed here. We got all this stuff down here. I'm gonna get down here. Elsa's. It's all wavy, you know, like it's been welded or whatever. And you come up into here. You got all this stuff stuck in here. And you still have that pattern, that skin pattern. And then it stops and goes to smooth. And there's no, there's no, even though it's smooth, this is smooth too. Elsa! But there's no patterns. There's no lines you'd see smooth. So this is different here than this here. Wow, look at, look at these things. And they go right down and then angle down into the, so, to, I mean, this whole thing is so awesome. We're not sure what this stuff stuck in here is. Yeah, it's gonna be a couple video. Gonna be a couple videos on this one. I keep putting my hands over the speaker, I think, or the microphone. Look at the red up there. That pattern. There's a hexagonal pattern we've been finding on a lot of stuff. Also excited too. Let's go. Let's go. I'm thinking this is part of an abrupt transition of piece of some sort because of the pattern it's got. I could be wrong. Probably am, but anyway. Alright, oh, this is really cool stuff in here. Wish I had my light. Yeah, there's that pattern again. Up there too. Yeah, I'm getting dripped on here. Okay, so here's some more of them pieces. Not round. I'm 
we get over here at an angle, there's some more of the indices going out that way, and I'll get over here and show you. But I want to put this on camera, all this red. Look at this red. Up there. And the skin has collapsed down. And the transition metals have settled. Look at all the red, the blood in there. Uh, good spot here. This is the, I believe, the body of the creature. This would be the skin collapsed down on top of it. You know those round balls that are underneath the skin, the intersection that Roger talks about? Look at the size of these. I'm going to get them right up through these. Look at these intersection balls. I believe that's what they are, in my opinion. I could be wrong. all through this. Little balls. Big balls actually. Big balls. Sorry, excuse me for my language. But you know what I mean. So anyway. They're just everywhere in here. I can actually get up right up to them. Look how they're layered. This is one of those intersection balls. Another one right here. I believe. Another one right there. Right here. They're all over here. Up there. Over in here. Just all over the place. Different size, these intersection balls, I believe. And all that red transition melon. And it's all set and it's all collapsed down on top of this. Look at that seam right there. Look at that. Okay, this is all biological. Every bit of it is biological. Look at all those round balls in there. Look at that. Look at the reds and the blacks. Isn't that something? Boy, Scott, that's something else. It's all setting on top of this different material, different, different uh, preservation, different, um, I don't know what this would be. All right, but I, I do believe that's the skin. And the inner stitching underneath the skin or in the skin now. And we're going to wrap this up for this right here. Okay, I wanted to get this on here. Look at this type change. See this here? And it goes into this. Totally different type. All the reds and the blacks. That's all gray. This is all reds and blacks. Um, browns, tans. And this is all gray. This is that kale and clay skin stuff on the outside. It goes right down there into the... Alright. Boy, look at this. Look at the blacks and the reds in this. It runs right on top of this solid rock. Or mud fossil. Look at that. You can see the layers. Clays. Look at this. It's smooth as a baby's hiney. Woo, that's smooth. You ladies would like this on your face. This is that gray kale and clay. I believe this is the, yeah, this is the next stage. Look at the reds. <laughs> you just peel it off. Really smooth. How smooth that is. Wow. Yep, kale and clays. Underneath the surface of the skin. That's what this is. 
different petro petrified different may have my yeah that's what that is that's those are kale and clays look at that boy take some of that home with me look how red that is really red Okay, Scott just found a dead seal on the beach here. We're going to show you right here a really good example. See how all the skin, this is a seal. See his mouth and his eye. See how the skin's all collapsed down? This thing used to be probably bloated and puffed way up here. Now it's all collapsed down. That's the same way this is. This is the skin. This here is the skin that's collapsed down on top of the creature. So this here is a good example to show you the skin collapsing down just like it's collapsed down on this seal. Okay, this seal is all shrunken up and everything's all, you know, shriveled up now. The muscles are gone, the bones are there probably, uh, tendons, ligaments, but all the other stuff is gone. Fascia is there. Now, if this thing was to get preserved that way, preserved right now and hardened, that's what we have going on here. Same exact thing. That's all the skin. Same as this skin right here has collapsed down on this thing. That's what this has happened over here and over there. All that skin used to be up here and now it's collapsed down. Everything underneath the muscle and stuff is gone. So I hope that makes sense. This is a really good example right here to show you. Kind of gross, kind of stinky. How you doing little fella? Not too good today. Things have worked out better. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up and head on down the coast. Have a great day and bye bye now.